1. C sound has many opcodes related to frequency modulation. To understand frequency modulation, you have to understand the amplitude modulation. 2. Amplitude modulation is used in communications to send a signal over distances. The signal that we want to send has some maximum frequency, say F1 it will be modulated, that is, multiplied, by a frequency F2, acting, as our carrier. 3. The result of multiplying two signs is the sum and difference of the original frequencies. The fact that it is cosine is not important as cosine is just a sine with a phase, that is, a time offset. 4. In amplitude modulation, a signal, such as an audio, is modulated to higher frequencies. It is propagated by an antenna, as an electromagnetic signal. 5. If the two frequencies are almost equal, beats result, as one of the output is seen as a low frequency signal, which is seen as an envelope to a much higher signal, which is about two times the frequency of the original signal. 6. The first C sound example will have frequencies of 2000 Hz and 500 Hz. We know the output should be a combination of 1500 Hz and 2500 Hz. We can relate all this to C sound opcodes, since multiplying two signs is the same as feeding one oscil into another. 7. This is the instrument string. First the linseg opcode is used to create an envelope. The amplitude is 0.7 except at the ends, where it goes to 0. Then, two envelopes are created for the cosine waves. Audio for left channel is oscill output of another oscill. The right channel is the sum of two cosines, at 1500 Hz and 2500 Hz. 8. These are the two tables used here. Table 2 uses GEN11 which is a cosine signal generator. 9. This is the output wave file. The two channels are seen to be indeed identical. 10. The frequency spectrum shows that there are two frequencies, and they are at 1500 Hz and 2500 Hz. 11. We can find the period of the wave by selecting the portion of the audio that repeats. It is of width 88 samples. Since there are 44,100 samples in one second, this is 44,100 divided by 88, or 500 Hz. This makes sense since 1500 Hz is the third harmonic of 500 Hz, and 2500 Hz is the fifth harmonic of 500 Hz. 12. This is the instrument string for the case that the two frequencies are nearly identical. 13. From the output wave file, we can see the low frequency signal acting as an envelope for the higher modulating signal. 14. You will find additional information at pythonaudio.blindspot.com, including the source code.